Now, the show sucked. Absolutely terrible show. Let's talk about it here very quickly. It opened up. Do you guys remember the lowest rated quarter in the history of Raw? It was a Miz and Morrison handicap match. Okay, well, let's open Raw with Miz and Morrison out here doing a reenactment of a Christmas story. Miz is sitting there on Santa's chair. He's got, for some reason, a headset mic. I don't even know why, because we're in the Thunderdome. You don't even need a mic. But he's reading this dumb story. It barely rhymes, which is a crime in my opinion. He's talking about TLC. He's got AJ out there as an actor in his play. He's got John Morrison dressed up as Drew McIntyre. He's got a sword. They do this goofy reenactment. And then the story ends with Miz saying he's going to be the champion after TLC. AJ gets mad at Miz. They start arguing. And then out comes Sheamus. They get in a brawl, and AJ throws a Christmas tree at him. In 2010... Impact, TNA, they did a pay-per-view and somebody hit somebody with a barbed wire Christmas tree. I almost lost my mind. Well, in hindsight, at least that tree was made out of barbed wire. This is just a dumb Christmas tree. It sets up a match. It's Sheamus and AJ Styles. Sheamus, I mean, he can have good matches. AJ Styles is an excellent professional wrestler. They had the most boring 16-minute match you could imagine. If they wrestled a thousand times, 999 of those matches would be better than this one. I don't know how I stayed awake. They do this match. AJ gets beaten up the whole match. He gets a fluke pinfall. And now it's going to be excited to see him challenge for the title at the pay-per-view. They didn't even screw Drew's best friend to get the win. He just beats the guy. Then... They beat up Sheamus afterwards. They tie him upside down on the ropes. They beat him up forever with a chair. And not a hint of Drew McIntyre coming out to save his friend. Drew's supposed to be a babyface. Sheamus is invariably going to turn on the guy. And I'm supposed to feel sympathy for Sheamus. Every time this guy gets his ass kicked, his best buddy never comes out to save him. Matt Riddle is a comedy geek with bro nuts. He's doing some segment backstage. Then we have The New Day and Jeff Hardy with Matt Riddle against The Hurt Business. And it's basically four, I guess I guess MVP was out there, but regardless, this match was at least good. Bobby Lashley submits Jeff Hardy after interference by whoever, doesn't matter. And I mean, there's interference in every match, so what difference does it make? And Bobby Lashley taps out. Jeff Hardy. Um, the match was fine. Lana's with Asuka backstage. Asuka's trying to convince her to do this match tonight because Lana is petrified to get in the ring with Nia Jax, even though as a team, they have beat Nia and Shayna twice. We end up having Lana and Nia. The match goes like two minutes because they have no faith in these two in the ring. Lana beats her clean with a cradle after knocking her off the ropes. Nia and Shayna then destroy Lana and they put her out of action. She's out of the match on Sunday. After three months of storytelling, there's one way to get out of this dumb story. And it's for Lana to put Asuka, or Lana to put Nia through a table, and they win the tag team titles. They can't even do that. Lana just beats Nia. She gets her revenge in a two-minute nothing match with a fluke pin, and then they take her out of the pay-per-view match. That's your payoff, everybody. I'm sure they've got some brilliant idea for down the road. But for now, that's your payoff. She's not even getting her tag title match in the pay-per-view after they beat them two straight times in non-title matches. Elias has a new best buddy. How does he have a new best buddy? Well, you see he got electrocuted when he stuck wood into a speaker that's not even plugged into electricity. The speaker blows up. Apparently he had a near-death experience and in his near-death experience, he thought of one man, Jackson Riker. Who claims, by the way, Jackson Riker, that Elias's music has changed his life? Now they're buddies. I can't wait to see more there. Keith Lee faces Miz and Morrison. Apparently, they had the match signed, but then they shot the angle for it after the match had been signed. They go out there. 
The match is not very good. It's another Ms. Morrison handicap match. And for the first time on the main roster, Keith Lee is pinned in the middle of the ring. And it's by comedy geeks, Ms. and Morrison. They beat Keith Lee. Bray Wyatt comes out as a babyface. He's giving his puppets a tour, a field trip. They're taking him to the Thunderdome. He then announces in the go-home show for TLC that he wants to play hide-and-seek with Randy Orton. Randy Orton appears on the big screen. He accepts his challenge to play hide-and-seek. Bray then goes all over the building playing hide-and-seek with Randy Orton. Ricochet, the storyline is, he's going through one member of Retribution at a time before he finally gets to Ali. But in this storyline... He's losing to everybody. He lost last week to Slap Jack. And this week he faces Mace. And Mace beats him clean. He's just getting beaten by them one at a time. Apparently to lead to the big money match against Ali. Shayna faces Dana Brooke. The match goes a minute. It ends in a disqualification. Mandy Rose runs down to make the save with a stick. She is beaten up. Even though she has a stick, and finally a third babyface, Oscar has to run down to make it three on two advantage babyfaces. That is how they run off these two heels. Matt Riddle faces MVP. They go one minute. All the heels hit the ring afterwards. Riddle runs off with his donuts. And finally, in the culmination of hide and seek, Randy Orton finds Bray. He beats him up. He puts him in a box. He lights the box on fire. The announcers could not possibly care less about this. But alas, The Fiend shows up, and he chokes out Randy Orton, and that's the end of that. Show ends with, oh, we can't do a contract signing, because we just did it on SmackDown. So instead, it is called an Ascension Ceremony. They put the belt up on this gimmick. AJ buries Drew. Drew buries AJ. They get in a big brawl. A bunch of dudes running. They basically tell you at the pay-per-view. It's actually AJ, Miz, Morrison, and Omos against Drew McIntyre in a TLC match. They have a big shamaz. They beat up Drew McIntyre for like 30 minutes like they always do. And they leave him for dead. That's how Raw goes off the air. A horrible show. If you love these video clips... Head down there to the bottom right-hand side of the screen and click Join. For just $7.99 per month, you get full access to all of the episodes. Over 300 at current count. Full-length episodes of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, and Figure Four Daily with both Landstorm and Filthy Tom Lawler. You can also hit that subscribe button, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows are available.